Hello, Tony from Live Shopping Tours. How are you going? Good, Adrian. How are you? Yeah, really good. I'm here in my boutique in Tea Gardens. My, two, my boutique's name is Vitamin Bead. And um, yeah, we've met online by doing the, the very similar things with your live shopping tours. And then I, I nearly go live on Vitamin Bead every day out of here. So um, up on the Facebook. I don't think... I don't, I don't do it every day, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's really good. I mean, for me, it's actually been great because especially during lockdown, COVID, and that's where you're, you're back in lockdown right, right now. Um, it, just, yeah. it just gives you something to tangible to do and also communicate with your customers out there because they are all at home on their phones pretty much, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, they are in Melbourne. It's a really big part of our... Um, our life at the moment is only being able to communicate with, you know, social media and Facebook and Zoom and yeah. things like that. Because unfortunately, we can't get out. We're all going to be stuck inside a little bit more for a little bit longer. Yep, definitely. So you started um, live shopping tours uh, when the first lockdown came through, right? Yeah, it was a bit of an accident that I sort of um, created this. So it's called live shopping tours, and the the thing that I um, I had no intentions of, you know, doing something like this, but it, it came up with um, having a friend who had asked me, would I help her? Um, as I'd been telling her, I had personally been seeing people selling things live. Mm -hmm. And as she's a retailer, I'm a, I'm a sales rep. So I go into lots of different retail stores. So I would say to her, you know, why don't you try it? You've got your stock. Mm -hmm. You've got your you've paid the rent, you've got the electricity on, there's nothing else that you're spending except your own time that you're investing in this. So, yeah. you know, why not try it? You know, but, but a lot of people in the mind, their mindset is, oh, it's all too hard. I'm running my business. I haven't got time to do this. I don't know what I'm doing. So mm. then when all of this happened, I got a phone call from her very upset as, um, you know, as you can understand, because no one really knew with the first round what, what was going to happen. Everybody had the, their rents to pay. Everybody had bills coming in from their suppliers yeah. so it was really daunting for a lot of people and overwhelming and she mm -hmm. just said to me look help me do something can you help me try this out I don't, and I said look, fine let's try it you know had no idea what we were doing had no idea even how to turn on a live button but you know if you don't try you don't know so yeah. I, I don't like I said I don't think you know people should try something new um, mm -hmm. possibly, you know, they may feel like, well, I can't talk in front of the camera, but it doesn't matter because they talk to their customers all day, every day. And right. once yeah. you've done it once, you do get over that fear. And I think people just feel like, oh, you know, I don't, I'm not good at, you know, doing these sorts of things on uh, because it's been recorded. But just pretend you're talking to one of your customers, you know, you're selling your product, you're selling yourself, you're yeah. selling your, your store to them. So that's what I sort of said to her and I think also with me doing it with her and talking to her about okay what's the dress you know what does it do how much does it cost things like that if, if you if you want to try it perhaps get someone to come in on it with you mm -hmm. and you can bounce off each other and and not feel so nervous and people you know have the other person ask questions and that will make you feel a little bit more at ease so if anything I think doing this, um, especially for the people that I personally know and that I'm doing this with, um, they're not making millions of dollars out of this. Are they selling things? Yes, they are. Are they selling things because they're doing it? Yes, they are. And probably the more important thing out of all of this, their mindset, I think it's helped them stay positive. And yes. you know yourself, if you're stuck in a store and all you're doing is looking at four walls and no one's walking in the door, it is really, really depressing. Yeah. Whereas if you can go on live um, and perhaps walk around the store and show people your tops, show people something, um, in, you can still engage with them. And I think that's what's been really unique with this is because it does give people that connection with their customers. You may not be able to see them personally, but you can still be connected with them. Yeah. So I found that, you know, the people that have come on board with doing this, look, they're, they're feeling a lot better about, the situations yeah. um and i think also too we're all sort of connecting and supporting each other and i found this time with um you know retailers can often look at other people as being their competition and they don't want to tell them this and they don't want to tell them that about their business which is fine but in this covid situation i think everybody 
at the moment is saying we're all small businesses, we're all doing this together and they've been a lot more supportive and not being the mindset of being competition. And I hope that people, instead of going online and clicking that button and buying it from overseas, they click that button and buy it from a store in Australia. Yeah, and yeah. it doesn't matter how little it is, it all helps in in small ways and i think that's what we need to all do is stick together and support each other i mean i'm doing this for free to help people i know um and um like you've helped me adrian with different things that are that you've taught me which has been really 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 good um and i think it's been a it's been a good experience um overall in in supporting each other and being connected with people and i think that's really valuable a lesson yeah. to learn that you know you can't do this on your own you need you need support from other people yeah no that's great to hear it's um yeah it's awesome because i um when i met you i've you know pretty much been doing facebook live in my shop for nearly two years well actually it is two years this month um and i'm just yeah when when co when we got locked up with COVID, it was just like well actually you know, this wasn't that much different from me because sometimes I'm in a regional area, so we have the tourists here, and then when they're not here, there's no, there's hardly anyone in the store. So um, that's why I started going live and and doing this. And now I'm actually moving into the coaching space to help other retailers do the same. And I've got a free challenge actually, which is kicking off tomorrow, which is very exciting. So I just get read you my little blurb. Um, I help yep. retail, retail business owners use Facebook organically to gain more visibility, grow their brand, sell their products and enjoy their time online because it's really important to enjoy what you're doing because that really shines through on your personality when you're, when you're online, when you're behind your counter talking to customers. So I, I, just, I just say, okay, my phone or my laptop is my customer now, you know. So, um, so I'm passionate about um, helping more people just like me because two years ago I didn't know how to do this at all. Um, use, Facebook, <laughs> use Facebook simply to get more foot traffic, well, more, tr more traffic to your um, people thinking about your store. So it's, it's just, especially in this time, it's actually really quite good to keep um, consistent with it. And, and it doesn't always have to be about selling. If people know that you're still doing things, you're still there, it creates like a little community around your whole business uh which is fantastic for when we move out of the you know when we go into the next phase after lockdown um so simply to get more foot traffic make more sales without having to spend time more time on facebook so you do spend a bit of time because it, but then that's that time that you're showing your product or you know communicating with your customers um but apart from that you don't spend all your time on facebook and also we do it all organically so it's all free which is great um, I've owned this retail shop in, um, for 25 years and I've learned how to market my business for free on Facebook. Um, this has helped my retail shop thrive and, and gave me the ability to have a better work-life balance. And now with my um, fr free five-day challenge, I'd like to show other people how to do this, you know, so. Um, oh, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. So it's really good. So it's just it's only take going to take people like you know 10, 15 minutes a day. There's some short videos that I've created um, about content ideas, introducing yourself, and then how to go live if you want to go live. And it's all in a closed Facebook group. So you know if you're scared about people seeing what you're doing, it will. Yeah, be and that's it. If you can do that, and and it's I think that's a really good thing to do because you can bounce ideas off each other. That's and right, especially yeah. when you no one really knows how. There's no book written about the right or the wrong way of doing this i think the only wrong thing to do is not to try it i mean at the end of the day we're all human and we all, we're all going to make mistakes yeah, yeah. the only thing i would say not to do is don't go live if you're in a really bad mood because people will know that you're in a bad mood but sometimes that works too because they might feel <laughs> they might they might relate to that day <laughs> yeah yeah no it's um yeah no so i'm, I'm really you know excited to share my knowledge and show other people how to do it especially through these times because um you know and like when i say retailers like me because that's where i was two years ago i was just i look i'd look at facebook i'd look at instagram and i'm like i don't know what to do because everyone was so perfect and looking so glam and all that sort of stuff yeah and i'm like i can't yeah. do that because if people come into the see me online and then they come into my store and i'm looking completely different 
Um, yeah. but, so hold on a minute. No, Is we don't all look like the Kardashians, yeah. believe me. <laughs> so you've got to be really authentic and people really, that's what people love. They love you being authentic, showing up for who you are and yeah. then they really relate to you and know, like and trust you. So they're quite happy yeah. to buy off Facebook. Like I sell more off Facebook than I do on my website. So yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's important because, you know, like I said, I'm not a retailer. I'm someone who's just helping these retailers to see what you're doing is really quite validated and that they should be looking at this in their own businesses. So I'm sort of probably helping them at, to show them what you're saying actually does work and is important to try. Um, and probably from my experience is that all the people that I know that I have done it with, it has been positive in, in and like I said, you don't expect, people can't expect to do this and go, oh my goodness, I didn't sell anything. Mm -hmm. I, it's one of those things that, like you said, and I had to keep that in mind too, is they have to know you, they have to trust you. Uh, but I think the nice thing about this is you're actually showing items and talking about the items. It's not just a flat picture on a page on a website. I think it's really nice that you can hold it up, show it. They mm -hmm. want to see the back of it, the front of it, mm -hmm. just like as if you were in a store. Mm. So I think that's that's what this is really, really, really good with doing. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah I, I refer to it as like bringing your product to life online. So, you know, you, you are talking about the product, you're showing it, you can say, show how stretchy it is. And, yeah, know, that's, yeah. It's, a, it's really good, yeah. And I'm, so, I'm just grateful that we've got these tools here to use and then now it's, now it's like really time for other people to, to learn how to use them too. So looking yeah for this they're my first launch of my five day challenge this week so that's that's a bit good luck exciting. thank you so much and everybody try it out because yeah you've got nothing to lose it's better to try something than do nothing absolutely yeah okay well it's been great talking to you today tony yep and all the best and let's keep our good work going <laughs> okay